What's up, Pisces? This your girl coming at you with another video. This is going to be for my Pisces. All placements take a resonance, leave it does not. If it's not your story, don't make it fit, Pisces. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Holy Spirit, please allow me to be the channel. Please protect my energy as I get Pisces clearing on this message on today. No weapon form against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. I pray, man. First card out, release. I think that was the first card that came out in another reading. Was that yesterday's reading? We got full moon at the bottom of the deck, right? Which is another energy talking about release and banishing things. So, yeah, there's some sort of releasing that needs to take place. Pisces. soulmate at the bottom of the deck we have fire in the reverse and we also have relief in the reverse wow that's crazy release the first card out fire in the reverse relief in the reverse so you already know what it's giving you love somebody but Something here is a bit much. All right. Now, some sort of a chemistry or desire or something along those lines could be fading away with the fire coming out in the reverse and then relief in the reverse. But this goes back to the collective reading, like somebody feels trapped in a relationship. So I feel like this is another side of that collective reading, but you take these messages, how they resonate. Behind soulmate, we have jealousy. Behind jealousy, we have truth. And then we have nature spirits right behind that. So it could be time for you to really get yourself grounded at this time, Pisces. Um, I do feel like you're gonna be seeing somebody's true feelings. This could be their feelings about you or a situation. You take these messages, how they resonate. All right. So yeah, we have divinity. All right. Which I'm not surprised because when I seen nature spirits, divinity was the card right behind it. Now we have divinity coming out. And we also have nature spirits coming out either way it goes. That's crazy. All right. So yeah, some of you all, you need to really get yourself grounded in your faith is what I'm getting with nature spirits coming out next to divinity here. It's all about faith, having faith at this time. Um, but something here is definitely creating some sort of burden-like energy with the relief in the reverse. Something is not easy, but it's like there's a lack of drive or motivation for something as well. So it's like, I feel like you're being led to release it. Okay, we have Hila here at the bottom of the deck. All right, in the collective reading, I spoke about how somebody carries a healing energy. You could be this person that carries that energy. Behind Hila, we have affluence. Behind affluence, we have full moon. Behind full moon, earth energy, yes. So some of you all, you're about to stumble up on an energy of affluence. And um, I feel like you need to ground yourself because the energy is going to be crazy. And from what I see, the fire has already been put out. So you really not in the mood is the energy that I'm getting. Clarify, release. Ooh. All right. It's like a whole book wanted to slide out over here. But we do have the magician that did flip over. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put these back and we're going to shuffle again because what the hell was that?
What else you have on this release, Holy Spirit, for Pisces? All right, we got the Emperor down there coming out in the reverse. But he's coming out sideways. All right. Seven of Wands, that defensive as energy. All right. So some of you all, there is an energy around you. I don't know what it is that you're trying to manifest or, and or they're trying to manifest. But I feel like somebody could be like half stepping. All right. With something. And there is some defensiveness that comes behind it as well as strife. So I'm getting like argumentative type of energy or... um. You know, don't come at me questioning me type of energy. Behind the five of swords, we have the three of cups with the wheel of fortune here. All right. With the nine of swords right behind that seven of swords. All right. So, yeah. Uh, there's other energies tied to this particular energy that I'm speaking of. Ace of pentacles, three of pentacles. Mm -mm. It's not going to work. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck. So whatever that thing is that you know that you need to release and the fire has gone out and is creating this energy of burdens, release it. But release it with love is what I'm getting. Clarify fire in the reverse. The sun card Leo energy could be of some significance. All right. temperance energy see this is all reminding me of the collective reading that i did right and it's crazy because hella water was showing up right in the reading and this reading the fire is showing up in the water element because it's coming out in the reverse Not only that, we got the sun card clarifying it with the temperance. And then I'm looking at the ace of cups at the bottom of the day. Give me one more. See, six of pentacles. Yeah, so somebody is in their emotional energy, okay? Not so much work, focus, you know, get out of my way type of energy, like... But we got the Ten of Swords here at the bottom of the deck with the Hierophant and the Eight of Swords. All right. So um, for some of you all, there, there's a fire that's out because somebody has ruined a high level commitment with you here with the Ten of Swords to the Hierophant to the Eight of Swords. I do feel like this person is full of regret. They are in a mental imprisonment. All right. And there is um, an Ace of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. I do feel like this person is wanting to focus on some sort of new beginning, but they're not telling you that. So you may be experiencing the softer side of a person is what I'm also getting. Clarify relief in the reverse for Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. We got the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You see, and that's I was just about to say, you know, it's like, well, relief and the reverse is giving the Five of Pentacles energy. So it confused me. It didn't really confuse me, but it was just like, I'll put in the seat of nine of pentacles coming out for the relief in the reverse. So this can be like um, a past energy because we do have the eight of wands here, which is speaking about swiftness. So something came in quick or it's coming in quick. Yeah, but we got the five of, sword, uh, five of wands here, which speaks about chaos. With the emperor at the bottom of the deck.
It's almost like some of you all, you feel like every time you try to do something for yourself or you receive some sort of good news after some sort of struggle, here comes people, you know, um, coming with a certain type of energy that is not um, congratulating, it's not welcoming is competitive energy i don't know what that's about but just be mindful of that energy so some of you all you may be feeling led to ground yourself in your beliefs because as you experiencing some sort of relief in your life there's going to be people that come against you and try to make you feel even burdened or add more weight to something here that you've been trying to lift. And as long as you're certain and aware of what you're capable of, I feel like that's all that really matters. But some of you all, you're not in this energy yet where you, you know, connecting with nature and, you know, getting yourself grounded in your faith and spending time with God and things of that nature with the divinity energy, you know. So, yeah. Seven of Wands, yeah, you're still fighting. You could be fighting to release this energy from your life. It's like, damn, why every time something goes good, here come all this negative energy when I speak to certain people about whatever this is. That's also another sign that you need to be aware of. Clarify nature spirits. Yeah, tower. Yeah, knight of cups. Three of swords. Going back to another message that I said about feminine energy, which is water energy, by the way. All right, so whether you're feminine or masculine, feminine energy is on my table with the fire in the reverse. I said feminine energy controls nature. We clarify nature spirits. First card out tower is already giving tornado or hurricane energy. Shit, maybe even a blizzard since we dealing with snow now, you know, in certain areas. But it's like there's so much like intense energy within you right now. And it's like, it can create an energy of upheaval where it's like that energy alone, even though it's not being expressed verbally, is something that's inside of you. So therefore, it's like you manifest in a, a certain type of environment. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense. So this is why you need to ground yourself. Okay. Because you may not understand that it's your inner feelings and like your inner being your spirit being disturbed. And if you don't calm that by spending time with nature, you can create a mess around you. <laughs> so clarify divinity. But it's all about finding your personal connection with God to begin with. Clarify divinity. Yeah, see, hangman sideways it's like you can stay captive or whatever or you can choose enlightenment and freedom it came out sideways so the choice is yours i told you all about the choice the other day right whatever you believe in follow that right all these cards coming out sideways like i said the choice is yours ten of swords you can choose ruin <laughs> or you can choose abundance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think you're going to choose right though because we do got the page of wands coming out. Good for you. What the lovers. Yeah. It's giving chosen energy. But even the chosen get tested and tried, right? So let's see what else is going on. Oh, 
Holy Spirit, what else you got for Pisces? Really don't like the angulars. Right. Clearing out his messages for Pisces. Miss she. This was the first card that came out in another reading that I did for you guys. Like, I just be feeling like all these readings be connected some kind of way. All right. All right. Necropolis in the reverse. It's crazy how this energy is coming out. And now we have passion at the bottom of the deck. All right. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, it's giving passion of the Christ type of energy with passion and necropolis coming out in the reverse mischief. It's like people being mischievous, possibly towards you, wanting to kill you off. They hate you with a passion. But you don't die, you resurrect. <laughs> it's the best way I know how to explain the energy. Yeah, and then we have adversary coming out. You can't make this up. So, yeah. But they don't understand. That because God is love. He had to orchestrate some things. So that, you know, we can have that forgiveness that even we know that we are unworthy of in some of situations, right? But God's love for us is unconditional. Yeah, love, awakening, wisdom, yes. Foresight, yes. <laughs> ascension, yes. No, not ascension. This is reincarnation. So like I said, you don't die, you resurrect. But going back to what I said, being grounded in your faith, it's all about your faith, what you believe in. Um, you know what? I think I want to read out the Quran. So, Holy Spirit, please guide my hand and allow me to read whatever it is that I need to read to those that's watching this message on today to help them making any type of decisions that they may need, any type of spiritual guidance, please provide it. Mm. And it says, as for those who believe and do good, the most compassionate will certainly bless them with genuine love. Indeed, we have made this Quran easy in your own language, O prophet, so that with it you may give good news to the righteous and warn those who are contentious. Imagine how many peoples we have destroyed before them. Do you still see any of them or even hear from them the slightest sound? Mm. Don't let that go over your head. So it says, we have not revealed the Quran to you, O prophet, O cause you distress. But as a reminder to those in awe of God, it is a revelation from the one who created the earth and the high heavens. And the most compassionate who is established above the throne. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth and whatever is in between and whatever is on the ground. Whether you speak openly or not, we certainly knows what is secret and what is even more hidden. God, there is no God worthy of worship except him. He has the most beautiful names. Has the story of Moses reached you, O prophet? When he saw a fire, he said to his family, wait here, for I have spotted a fire. Perhaps I can bring you a torch from it or find some guidance at the fire. 
speaking about that fire energy coming out in the reverse. But when he approached it, oh, and let me make this connection real quick because this gonna this gonna also go over some of you all's head. So Moses' name means to pull out, draw out of water, right? Because y'all know the story about Moses. All right. So pull out, draw out of water. When I first started this reading, nothing but water cards was coming out. And I said, that's crazy how fire is showing up. God communicated with Moses through the burning bush, right? That's fire. Moses is a representation of water. But let me finish. <laughs> All right. He says, perhaps I can bring you a torch from it and find some guidance at the fire. But when he approached it, he was called, O oh Moses, it is truly I, I am your Lord. So take off your sandals for you are in the sacred valley of Tua. Now, let me stop there for another minute. Um, I did another reading and I said, play with fire, you get burned. And now this fire energy is coming up heavy in his reading. I have chosen you. So listen to what is revealed. Speaking about the chosen, what did I just say before I opened up this book? about the chosen it is truly i i am god there is no god worthy of worship except me so worship me alone and establish prayer for my remembrance the hour is sure to come my will is to keep it hidden so that every soul may be rewarded according to their efforts so do not let those who disbelieve in it and follow their desires distract you from it or you will be doomed god added and what is it that in your right hand, O oh Moses, he replied, it is my staff. I lean on it and with it, I beat down branches for my sheep and have other uses for it. God said, throw it down, O oh Moses. So he did. Then behold, it became a serpent slithering. God said, take it and have no fear. We will return it to its former state and put your hand under your armpit. It will come out shining white, unblemished as another sign so when they show you some of our greatest signs go to pharaoh for he has truly transgressed all bounds and that's the page that i turned it to you guys so that's all that i'm reading on today i hope that you all have a blessed day and until next time bye